Live from New Bedford, ladies and gentlemen. This is the YouTube channel blog show of authenticity, inspiration, and realness. Also, of good times, personality, and fun. This is Eric Lee Machinigans of 1977. And now, here is your host of the show. He is Big Beefy E. He is Mr. Shenanigans and the elder statesman of the Rant and Raid podcast, Mr. Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lee Shenanigans, 1977, episode 1789 of the show. Results from Crown Jewel did this happen this afternoon, uh, this past afternoon, and uh, uh, a couple of notes that we should t uh, talk about. One, the winners of the Crown Jewel titles will cannot take those titles back home with them. Instead, they will receive a ring for for the Crown Jewel, and uh, <coughs> uh, for for winning the Crown Jewel title match, so it'll be a Crown Jewel ring they'll have with them. And here's the, so that'd be very interesting because now whoever you know they can use them like they're gonna pull an MJF, use them as we uh, weapons. But we'll see who has um. Now, as you know, Survivor Series is twenty eight days away. In fact, three. Four weeks from now will be Survivor Series. Hold on just a second, folks. All right, so let's get going with these. Um, oh, yeah. Friendly reminder. A couple of friendly reminders. One, time to change your clocks back an hour. <laughs> it's already daylight like savings time has ended. I know it's aggravating. A lot of people don't like it. But got to change the clocks back an hour, folks. And that's how it is. So <laughs> later on tonight, change the clocks back an hour. Um, also, um, um, also, this Tuesday, if you haven't voted already, go out and vote. Go out and vote for whoever you feel. Country depends on it, folks. I'm not going to tell you who I'm going to vote for or who I'm voting for or anything like that. I'm going to be respectful and I'm, I'll, I'm hopefully to do my duty. Go out and vote. And I think it's very, very imperative that I, that I do so. Go out and vote. It's very important. So, go out and vote, and um, <clears throat> um, go out and vote. Voting is important. Vote for whoever you believe could be the next president of the United States. So that's all I got. I'm not going to say any more. So that's the only political thing I'm going to say. Just go out and vote. Just do you do your duty as an American citizen. All right. So let's get going with the uh, the crown jewel results and um, like it, you know uh, the six man tag match Roman Reigns and the Usos went up against the Bloodline. Now my picks and predictions, as you know, I'll tell you one thing right now. Let's just say my picks and predictions this time around awful. All right, how awful can it be? <clears throat> well, I picked the Bloodline to win the matchup. They won the matchup. And then they start beating down Roman Reigns and Usos after the matchup. Sami Zayn arrives, which is a shock. And then goes over to act like he's going to hug Solo. Sami Zayn suplexes him. And when all four, and when Roman Reigns, and Usos, and Sami Zayn got together in the four coast post, um, Solo Sokoa looked around. And when Roman Reigns went to go super punch, Superman punch him, that, that, I think they want to do a Haluba kick, com Superman punch combo, miscommunication, Solo ducked. It ended up hitting Roman Reigns. And while the Usos and Zayn were arguing, and uh, and and, and Sami Zayn ended up walking away from the whole deal, you know. So that's something to um, look look after. Women, a fatal four way for the women's tag team titles on lunch. Remember, this is the first time in NXT superstar uh, superstars are. Part of the Crown Jewel card. The champs, Bianca Belair and uh, Jay Cargo, I called the EST Storm. Um, going up against Damage Control, EO Sky and Kyrie Sane. Uh, the Meta Girls, uh, that would be uh, Flash Legend Jakar Jackson from NXT. Along with Chelsea Green and Piper Niven, who for Halloween hilariously dressed up as the general managers of both Raw and SmackDown. Piper Niven was dressed as Nick Aldis, and Chelsea Green dressed as uh, Adam Pierce. 
they did a video where Nick Aldis was too busy laughing, and Adam Pierce is like, really? So, but you gotta check out the video again. And uh, after a crazy matchup, but this match was so botch filled. There were a lot of botches in this matchup. But in the end, I don't know, it's the suits, the heat, or what. I don't know, you know. But in the end, Bel Air and Cargill actually retained the tag team titles. Where they go from here, who knows. Now, um, Seth Rollins and Bronson Reed, this matchup turned to a brawl the first time around. And, uh, <coughs> and, uh, yeah, so, who did I pick to win? Damage Control. I was wrong. Uh, so, uh, Cargo, uh, Cargo and Bianca Belair retained the titles. Then it was the Women's Crown Jewel Championship. I picked Nia Jax to win this one. And then uh, it was Nia Jax against Liv Morgan. Tiffany Stratton kept to, to do, attempted to do a cash-in. Nia Jax stops and says, no, get to the back. And, and you know what, like I said... Tiffany Stratton's got a, she's got, she got to learn, uh, I think the mind games is procrastinate, procrastinate, say you're going to cash in, but then hold back, that's what I would have done, I would said, I'm going to cash in tonight, and then all of a sudden, I would run down and go, forget it, I'll, I'll go to the back, play some mind games with the champions, that's what I would do, if I were Tiffany Stratton, I would use the old noodle for that, but then uh, Dominic Mysterio and Raquel Rodriguez get involved during the matchup, you know, attacking Tiffany Stratton as well, now, um, injury update, the right or orbitable bone, uh, Ray Ripley was attacked, suffered that at the hands of Raquel, uh, uh, Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan um, this past Tuesday night on NXT, will be out indefinitely, don't know. And if I were, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> if I were people like Jordan Grace and Zaria, I would say, you know, you heard our girl Rhea? For calling you out. I know they can't do it this this Wednesday. But if I were Zarya, I would hunt down. You know, that's what I would do. Get a storyline where Zarya says, My girl, got, uh, Rhea, got hurt. I'm going to make uh, Raquel Rodriguez. Liv Morgan, how you make an impact, that's how you do it. So, but what am I thinking? So, Liv Morgan became the first ever women's crown dual champion. And she was presented with the title, but like I said, she can't take the title home. She'll have a ring. Now, I would not be surprised if she decided to use that ring as a weapon. Like MJF. Well, Randy Orton and Kevin Owens battled to a no contest. In fact, the match didn't even happen. You know, who did I pick? To, I picked Nia Jackson once on one and two. Um, they battled to a no contest. They brawled to the point where officials and referees uh, tried to break it up. And then... As you know, Randy Orton was a part of the SmackDown roster, and uh, and I, I don't know. No. Uh, Randy Orton, I written, I messed this one up, uh, but Randy Orton RKO'd Adam Pierce, and then <clears throat> splashes Owens on the table, on the table. Uh, you know, no. Now, Randy Orton, RK, all, all, all this, no, hold it, I know what happened. Randy, um, Randy Orton, RKO, Adam Pierce, and then Kevin Owens splashes him on a table off the, uh, the railings where the crowd was, because they brawled everywhere. No contest, the match didn't even happen, I was like, no contest, you know, that means, you know, nothing, you know, and the match didn't even happen, the bell didn't even ring. So, and with Orton RKOing Adam Pierce, Orton's a SmackDown superstar. Pierce is the Raw General Manager. Adam Pierce, last time he was upset with with all this, is when the blood uh, the bloodline came in and started laying waste to Jay Uso. And Adam Pierce, he's going to have something to say. It's Monday Night Raw, which will take place in Re um, Riyadh once again, Saudi Arabia. That's right. Raw will, will emanate from Saudi Arabia. After, you know, so it'll be the fallout from Crown Jewel. <clears throat> and so and Owen splashes Orton onto a, to a table. Because Triple H was right after all. So, so there's that. Um, yeah, so I picked KO to win the matchup, but that match is thrown out, so I was wrong on that prediction. 
Then the United States title was on the line, triple threat, L.A. Knight, Carmelo Hayes, and Andrade. And even though the odds were against him, L.A. Knight did retain. I picked him to retain. I, I am at two and four. Uh, actually, yeah. Um, did I miss him? Yeah. Yeah, Seth Rollins and Bronson Reed. I picked Reed to win the matchup, but Seth Rollins ended up winning that match. So, so there's that. I forgot to mention that matchup. So Seth Rollins, despite that, what Bronson Reed did, even though they brawled, Seth Rollins ended up winning the matchup. I was wrong there. So I'm at two and four in this case. And then the final matchup, the seventh matchup, Cody Rhodes and Gunter for the Men's Crown Jewel Championship. Gunter and Cody Rhodes ended up winning the matchup. It looks like the WWE is banking on uh, Liv Morgan and uh, Cody Rhodes to uh, hold down the fort as far as marketing and everything else is concerned. Everybody seems to like these two. We shall see what happens there. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I think, according to um, many people are saying, you know, reports are saying that Kyrie Sane may get hurt. If she does, if she's legitimately hurt, that leaves EO Sky left standing right now. For damage control, because you got Asuka recuperating from injury, Dakota Kai, and if Kyrie Singh goes down, EO Sky, it's probably good, be a good chance, um, good opportunity for her to shine. With Rhea out with an over the bone injury, we don't know when she's going to come back. I think EO Sky should step up and and try to challenge Liv Morgan for the um, the women's champ championship. If EO Sky beats Liv Morgan, she'll be another, she'll have another Grand Slam championship. Remember, she's a former NXT Women's Champion, a former WWE Women's Champion, a former WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. If she gets this Women's World Title, Grand Slam. I say Grand hashtag Grand Slam EO. That's what I'm calling it right now. With Ray Ripley out, somebody needs to step up. I believe EO could step up. We'll see what happens. Or do they need to bring Becky Lynch back? Who knows for sure. So that's all the time we have on the show, episode 1789. Next up will be AEW Collision in about less than an hour and a half. Uh, <clears throat> like an hour and 52 minutes, actually. So less than two hours to go. Oh, wait. No, an hour and 32 minutes. So, yeah. Yeah, so it'll be an hour and 32 minutes left until... Um, oh, it'll be on an hour and 22 minutes. Less than an hour and a half. Been a long day, folks. I apologize. So, an hour and 22 minutes. 6.38 p.m. What am I thinking? I'm going crazy here, folks. I do apologize. But I did accomplish what I didn't accomplish as this video here. So, until the next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, take us home. That is all for today's episode. This is your announcer speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget Productions, and in association with a Raven Bow for Telepictures and Distribution. Thank you for watching today's episode. Tune in next time for another episode of Earthly Machine Anigans of 1977. Goodbye for now.